and welcome to Carlos Cooks again. Well, it's Sunday morning and I've got to make a dessert. It's got to be ready for about four hours time. And I've opted to make, well, it's kind of like a tiramisu, but it's a summer fruit berry. Sort of layered cake with mascarpone and whipped cream um, with toasted almonds on top. And it's going to be delicious. I've, I've made it ooh, at least three or four times and it's gone down a treat every time. So easy to make. So um, what I've started to do is put a pan of boiling water on and what we've got it, just brought it up to the boil with some sugar in there, put quite a lot of sugar in there. We want to make it sort of like a sugar syrup and we just want it to heat up sufficiently that the sugar melts into the water so we've got a slight sugar syrup. And what we're going to do is we're just going to poach our fruit which we're going to put in there gently. We're not going to leave it on the heat at all, we're just going to leave the... Uh, fruit sitting in the warm water and it'll poach them slightly and some of the fruit juices will come out into the water and that's what we're going to dip our uh, Madeira cake slices in that are going to be layered in this lovely dessert so I'm going to start prepping the fruit and getting it in that uh, in that water um, and then we'll poach that slightly and then we'll start making up the cream uh, for the filling okay for the cream filling you've got um, several choices um, I'm using a double cream which I'm going to whip up with 75 grams of caster sugar which we've got here. You can use a, a normal whipping cream if you want um, and to that you would add um, about half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. I'm going to opt for um, some Moroccan almond instead because I like the flavour of the almond with the fruit um, but the vanilla does work best um, and then to that we're going to add some mascarpone cheese once we've got it whipped up and remix it with a hand mixer to get it all blended together and that will be our sort of filling for the layers. Okay the creams are all blended now and all come up into a lovely thick creamy consistency to spread over the fruit um, and I've drained the fruit off of the juice and put it to one side. I have slightly over poached it a little bit but um, you don't, I, I left the gas on by mistake but um, it's, it's not going to be too bad um, but obviously you want to turn the gas off once you've melted that sugar in your syrup and um, just put the fruit in there to just poach in the warmth um, so that it doesn't go too soft but um, it's still going to work out alright. So here's the dish that we're going to make it in and layer it in and here's some Madeira cake slices that we're going to use now you can use um, your own sponge fingers or um, lady fingers, works well with that as well like a, a real tiramisu. But what we're going to do is we're going to dunk these uh, Madeira slices in the syrup and then make a layer uh, in the dish. Then we're going to coat that in fruit, uh, coat it in cream and then do the same again. So I'll do that now and, and show you what it looks like at the end. One thing to mention is that you give these the quickest of dunks into the... Um, fruit syrup you don't don't let them soak at all just in and out and then into the into the dish otherwise they will just go soggy and fall apart they only need a brief time in there okay so we've got a layer of the um, Madeira cake soaked in the fruit juice and a layer of the poached fruit yes the raspberries have lost their shape a little bit due to the over poaching uh, and the strawberries are a little bit uh, translucent now but um, it'll still be okay Okay, that's the first layer done. So we're just going to do exactly the same now. Another layer of soaked Madeira fruit and the remaining cream. Okay, so when you've got the two layers, this is what you're looking for. Nicely coated with the cream over the top. And then just before serving, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of bits of fruit I saved in the middle. So some uh, sliced strawberry, uh, blueberry and raspberry. And then we're going to toast almonds and sprinkle those all over the top and then just a dusting of icing sugar to finish it off. So I'll show you that later because it's going into the fridge now for at least four hours. You need about four hours. You need everything to set nicely and mingle and uh, you know to chill right down. So at least four hours. Sometimes best to make it overnight if you want it the next day but four hours should be sufficient. Okay, just toasting some almonds over a low heat 
just until they've got a bit of colour on them. You'll know when they're done because they'll they'll start to smell lovely and toasted. Just keep flipping them over and giving them a shake in the pan. Those are nearly done now. Very low heat. Just give them a little bit of a brown tinge to them and then we'll let those cool down and those are going to go on top of the dessert. <laughs> 